वायरस हेलो फ्रेंड्स हेलो एवरीवन started few minutes earlier check whether everything is okay am i audible if anyone is there yeah. okay uh, hello friends I have come earlier to check whether everything is working in proper condition. The setup is okay. Uh, am I audible to everyone? Okay, thank you. We will wait for a few minutes. If it is not yet 5 30 uh, we'll wait for a few minutes and we will start our session we will allow some of the students to join us We'll be starting in a few minutes, friends. You all must be aware. Yes, okay. Uh, so we can start now. Yes, we can start. Uh, so hello, friends. Uh, good evening. Uh, I'm. You must be aware with my name as already the name was uh, being highlighted on the screen itself. Uh, my name is Akash Shukla. Myself, Akash Shukla, and uh, I am an alumni of uh, GEC Bhavnagar. Uh, 2014 batch and uh, in the mechanical engineering of course uh, I, let me tell you uh, introduce myself tell you something about myself in brief for five minutes uh, uh, introducing about myself uh, before entering into GEC Bhavnagar um, let me tell you that I am a diploma to degree student D2D student uh, of course I have done 11 12 science but at that time a uh, number of seats availability were low and uh, I got a few less percentage in uh, 12 science and so I was not able to get admission directly in the bachelor's. Uh, so uh, I took admission in diploma uh, at uh, BPTA Bhavnagar. I hope you all must be aware, GEC students must be aware with BPTA Bhavnagar because the campus of GEC Bhavnagar and the BPTA are very much close to each other. So I've done my diploma in mechanical at uh, Sir BPTA Bhavnagar and uh, Thereafter, I did uh, D2D. Uh, uh, I got admission in GEC Bhavnagar, which was a dream because uh, 2014 uh, GEC was in its initial stages, and a uh, uh, few of the colleges that uh, we uh, went through, and the GEC Bhavnagar campus was uh, very much live, and I was impressed with the campus as of, uh, and uh, I was uh, impressed with the campus, and I made up my mind that okay, for D2D. I will be only always opting for first for GEC Bhavnagar as Bhavnagar is also my hometown. Uh, of course, that's an added advantage. And uh, so I got admission there, luckily, uh, by grace of God. And uh, because at that time, the D2D seats were also very less. And uh, so I got admission there. And uh, thereafter, uh, I did my bachelor's there for three years because I was a D2D student. After completing my bachelor's in mechanical, I uh, opted for uh, master's. I went for master's in specialization in CAD CAM uh, at uh, Atmia Institute in Rajkot. Uh, obviously, uh, at that particular time, Raj, uh, Atmia Institute was uh, under the affiliation of GTU. So I've done my master's in GTU. Right now, Atmia Institute is a private university. 
uh so uh, telling about my masters uh, after uh, masters in masters uh, for cad cam i stood uh, third position in the entire gtu for the cad cam branch uh, after uh, during my masters also i was uh, pursuing my uh, job i started my job along with my masters in the same institute um, in the diploma section i was uh, working as a lecturer uh, and uh, the thing was thing there was that uh, uh, in the morning sessions uh, i had to do my job as a lecturer i had to take uh, full time lectures okay uh, around uh, uh, full time teaching uh, lecturer i was uh, appointed there and after the uh, morning session in the afternoon uh, we are having our masters classes in the post graduate section of the institute Uh, after completing my masters uh, i got a very good opportunity at uh, vadodara to work with uh, vadodara institute of engineering uh, there i got the job as a uh, assistant professor in uh, mechanical engineering uh, there i worked for around 3 years and in the last year i was uh, given an additional charge of uh, the head of the training and placement cell uh, as a training and placement officer so for the last year i was having two charges that is the uh, training and placement uh, head and the assistant professor in mechanical uh, after three years i got a better opportunity at uh, khyati school of engineering ahmedabad so currently uh, you must have uh, gone through my introduction currently i am working at uh, khyati school of engineering as assistant professor in mechanical department uh, since 2019 so almost an year i am uh, working here at khyati school uh, further talking about myself uh, i have more than 10 uh, research and review articles in my of subjects my interests and uh, journals international journals uh, i also presented my papers in uh, various national conferences of course i have not tried in international conferences yet but i am about to Uh, but national conferences at SBNIT and so I have already presented my papers and my papers have been published. Uh, and uh, talking about my projects, I have already uh, guided more than 15 undergraduate projects uh, at uh, diploma and B level. And uh, few of my projects, final year projects, uh, were selected uh, for the E Antra competition, E Antra Ideas competition uh, organized by IIT Bombay in 2019. so and uh, the 2019 uh, competition the national level competition uh, that was the western region finals were organized at vadodara institute of engineering and uh, for that program and for that regional finals i was the organizer there so that is a brief introduction about myself that is not brief that is too much okay uh, before going into the session uh, i would like to uh, tell you something about session Uh, i will not uh, consider it as a session or i will not consider it as a talk because i am not as of a good uh, speaker okay it is i am not a good speaker so i will not call it as a talk or a session uh, i would call it as a discussion okay more of as a discussion discussion among the engineers okay you are the engineers i am also engineer okay so we will call it as a discussion among the engineers and uh, i will not be using or bombarding uh, very heavy words and uh, very heavy topics Oh yes, that's why I have selected a very common topic and a very common issue that each and every student uh, is facing. Okay, each and every student is facing, whether it is of mechanical branch or uh, of any other branch. Okay, uh, the students are facing this common question when they are in the final semester or or final year or pre-final year. So uh, I have taken this common question because I wanted to go for a discussion. Okay. and uh, i will be uh, not sugar coating anything okay? there is nothing sweet in the market nobody is sweet in the market for you okay nobody is going to serve you a prepared dish to serve you okay so nothing you will be sugar coated in this discussion i will be providing you with the harsh reality of the market requirements uh, right now um, because uh, i will be share along with that i will be sharing with my my experiences as a training and placement officer especially for the hard branch that is the mechanical especially for the mechanical because uh, you all must be aware that right now the scenario is such that uh, getting jobs is a uh, uh, is uh, becoming extremely difficult day by day because the level of competition is increasing among the students among the candidates so i will be sharing that thing also 
and uh, I will be showing you the real face of the market, uh, what the market demands from you after graduating from mechanical engineering, and uh, and of course the different options. Okay, as the seminar title says, the career options after being mechanical. Various other options are also available for you. I will be uh, trying to cover as many options as available as per my knowledge, as per my information. I will be trying to cover as many knowledge, uh, as per, uh, sorry, as many courses and as many uh, options available. Uh, if you feel you feel free to comment anything or ask any question in the live chat, in the live comments. Uh, so uh, before going or before uh, starting the session, if I tell you, okay, if I tell you. Uh, uh, about this uh, session uh, before going into the session. Uh, there are a few points I want to clear out. Uh, two foremost and most important points uh, before you actually decide uh, going into the market uh, after completing your VE. Um, and uh, before stating those points, I will uh, quote something. Uh, I'm not, uh, I will not be seeking ideal things, but this quote has uh, touched me a lot. Uh, even when I was doing my diploma and BE. I don't know who has uh, quoted this thing and I've never searched also, but these quotes and the lines and the words that were used are very good. Uh, the quote says, uh, uh, listen clearly, uh, your attitude, not aptitude, will decide your future. Your attitude, I repeat, your attitude, not aptitude, will decide your future. So the first and the foremost thing uh, for a career, Okay. If you want to decide for a career, the first and the foremost thing is attitude. You need to be sorted with your attitude. Okay, If you are a mechanical engineer, you should have that clear attitude of a mechanical engineer. Okay, and The second important point that I want to uh, uh, mark it out here before starting the session is uh, that uh, important question that you need to ask to yourself. Okay, now, this is a very important question, and nobody will be able to answer that question. Only you and yourself will be able to answer that question. That is, what I want to do with my career, which is my area of interest. Okay, that question will be only answered by yourself. That question you have to ask to yourself. Okay, sit in a corner of a room, ask that question to yourself. Okay, what I want to do with myself. Okay, what I want to do with my career which are the options that are available with me, which are the areas or subjects of interest of me that you first you have to clarify that thing. And then after you can go for the different options that are available. Now, uh, uh, going into the session uh, after be mechanical, if I talk, uh, there are uh, basically two options available, uh, basic two options. Okay, In that options also there are a number of options available and Beyond that, if any options, any of the options I have not provided here, that also uh, definitely you can uh, find it out, search it out. Uh, basically, there are two options, uh, further study option and job after completion of your bachelor's. Okay, There are two options, further study means you can go for further study and the second option is you can go for your uh, job in any particular industry or you can enter the, into the market. Uh, further study. If you want to, if uh, someone, if some student has decided that, okay, uh, I want to go for uh, further study, okay, then uh, there are two options available. Again, in further study, there are two options available. That you can go for the further study in India or you can go for further study in abroad, at abroad, okay, means in foreign countries. If you go, uh, if you want to opt for uh, further study at abroad, uh, there are a number of options available, a number of uh, sessions have already been conducted regarding that. Uh, one of my friend, uh, Bhagav Pandya, he was my classmate and he has already conducted a session. He is working at UK uh, under some scholarship. He's uh, undergoing a master's program. Uh, so he has already conducted a session for that. And uh, many of any other sessions have also been conducted regarding Canada and all. So I just uh, uh, give it to you in a brief about the foreign study, abroad study material. Uh, for foreign study, uh, you can go for master's in foreign, in, uh, for foreign study, you can opt for master's program. Uh, for master's program, uh, you have to go, you have to give certain exams, competitive exams uh, for that. Uh, they are GRE and ILEPS and TOEFL. And right now, uh, trend is going on regarding the uh, 
these entrance exams, IELTS and TOEFL to go for uh, to go to Canada and uh, uh, New Zealand and Australia and Germany. So GRE, you can go for uh, if you give GRE exam and you qualify for the GRE after giving GRE exam, you can uh, uh, opt for any uh, master's program or uh, post diploma program in uh, Germany. Uh, for especially for mechanical engineers, Germany is a very good uh, place to start with for your post diploma and masters. Uh, especially those students who are interested in uh, automobile sector, in design sector, for them Germany is a very good place. Uh, another option through GRE is USA. You can go to USA for your further study and for masters and post diploma or PhD. Uh, if you uh, apply through IELTS and TOEFL exams, entrance exams, and uh, through IELTS TOEFL, you can go to countries like Canada, uh, New Zealand, Australia. Okay. There also there are a number of post diploma programs available, uh, number of master's program available where you can go for those programs. Those programs are uh, on an average of two years, most probably two years. And uh, after those two years, uh, definitely the program or the subject which you have selected for your program. Uh, the job related to those subjects are easily available in those countries because the level of competition is less in those countries. Uh, so if you are adopting for this uh, further study program, if you want to go for further study after BE, after your bachelor's, and uh, if you want to study in abroad, so these are number of options available. There are also other options available. But uh, I would suggest you for abroad study that uh, try to do the entire processing of this exams and after exams if you clear the exams the visa thing and everything you just try to do it by yourself okay research ask someone okay? don't go for the fake consultancies that are available okay uh, try to go for, if you go on to opt for some consultancy uh, try to opt for some uh, genuine consultancies that are available there are certain good consultancies also available that will guide you through to your uh, abroad study Second option that is available for further study is in India. Okay. In India also there are a number of options available that you can go for for your further study. Uh, in India, if you want, there are two options, basically two options available means there are a number of options available. Okay, there is no uh, limit to your study, teaching, learning, your learning process, sorry. Uh, there is no limitation. So uh, here I will be only concentrating on, uh, on the main uh, factors and the main career options that are available. So in India, if you go uh, there, uh, there you are having uh, two options available. First option is the uh, if you opt for MBA. Now the recent trend is that uh, when I was studying, uh, the trend was that okay, uh, you cannot uh, after be a bachelor's in engineering, after doing engineering, you cannot go for uh, MBA. MBA is only for commerce uh, commerce students, and uh, no, that's not the thing. Uh, I don't believe in this. And uh, there is a very uh, good dialogue in the Three Idiots movie that uh, uh, engineering kiya, fir baad mein America ja ke bank mein nokri kar raha hai. So that is an ideal thing. That is the thing that is uh, that you are seeing in movies. But if you are uh, interested in MBA, definitely after bachelor's in engineering, you can go for MBA. Uh, there are a number of uh, options available also in MBA. That is finance, human resource, statistics, and all. A number of options are available. Number of subjects are available. Uh, on which you can do your MBA and you can get a very good job okay in the bank sector also in, there are many sectors in which you an MBA uh, can get a very good job okay uh, for MBA uh, for MBA program uh, again a number of uh, entrance exams are available in India as in engineering we are having uh, JEE and good set uh, for MBA we are having CAT and other competitive examinations which you need to clear Again, if you clear those exams with very good marks, you can get into uh, premier institutes of management, that is IIM Ahmedabad and so. There are a number of uh, premier institutes in management side also. Okay. Uh, so for MBA, options are you need to give your uh, entrance exam. If you clear those exams, uh, you can opt for the MBA programs that you are interested in. Again, the most and foremost important question is, what the particular student wants to do with his career. If he is interested in MBA, definitely he should go in the MBA and uh, the society thinking, the thinking of the society should be broken with that and you should not consider what other things, what other people think about you that, okay, engineering, 
પછી એમબીએ ન કરાય ઓકે એમબીએ તો કોમર્સના સ્ટુડન્ટ કરે નો ધેટ્સ નોટ ધ થિંગ ઓકે રાઈટ નાઉ ધ માર્કેટ ડિમાન્ડ એઝ પર માય એક્સપિરિયન્સ ઓફ ધ ટ્રેનિંગ એન્ડ પ્લેસમેન્ટ ઓફિસર રાઈટ નાઉ આઈ વોઝ અ ટ્રેનિંગ એન્ડ પ્લેસમેન્ટ ઓફિસર ઇન 2019 સો ઇટ ઇઝ વેરી અ રિસન્ટ થિંગ ધેટ આઈ એમ અવેર વિથ એન્ડ ધ માર્કેટ ટ્રેન્ડ્સ અવેર આઈ એમ અવેર વિથ ધ માર્કેટ રાઈટ નાઉ ડિમાન્ડ્સ કેન્ડિડેટ્સ ઓર સ્ટુડન્ટ્સ ધેટ આર ઇન્ટરડિસિપ્લિનરી Okay, means a student should not be confined to a one particular branch or one particular course. Okay, if he is a mechanical engineering student, he should not be only confined to mechanical engineering. Okay, I will do a job only for mechanical engineering. Okay, I will not do your uh, any other work. Okay, any other sector. The student or the candidate must be interdisciplinary. So, if you have done B and after that you go for an MBA, that's a very good option. Okay, you are an interdisciplinary student and you are an engineer. who is also a master in business administration in your particular subject of mba and that will be a very good thing okay so don't consider what other people think what society thinks okay society is always result oriented what ultimately you achieve what ultimately you get okay that is the main thing that is what the society will ultimately uh, think of you okay the other things don't matter next option that is available in india uh, for your study purpose is uh, you can go for up for me or mtech master in engineering master in technology now in me mtech if you want to go for me mtech uh, uh, there are again two options available uh, for me mtech if you want to go for me mtech uh, uh, first option is through gate uh, if you apply through gate uh, then uh, number of very good options open up for you if you clear gate with very good marks uh then you can get uh, admission into the masters program in uh, iits nits uh, iisc bangalore and other uh, which are premier institutes of engineering in our country you can get admissions in them if you get very good marks and uh, also certain government colleges in gujarat uh, they are also available through gate uh, gate admission through gate clearing the gate uh for them a uh, number of uh, uh, courses are also available in uh, mechanical engineering where you can opt for masters where they are thermal engineering cad cam as i have done cad cam okay uh, manufacturing metrology uh, production energy engineering uh, metrology as i already tell uh, design okay machine design so a number of options are available uh, where you can opt for your masters in this uh, premier institutes or uh, in government colleges uh i will cut back to gate how to prepare for gate in short because already a session has been done about gate and uh, most of the students and most of the speakers have been qualified for gate i will come back back to you gate on gate okay but i will go for another option first uh, that is through non gate right? uh, if you want to do your masters okay mem tech okay, that is uh, again through non gate also you can go for that uh, uh through non gate uh, you can get admission uh, in the private institutes for their masters program now through non gate uh, gtu is organizing a non gate examination entrance examination for examination for those students who are not applying through gate okay but nowadays the scenario is such that the number of seats are uh, available so much that even if you don't uh, apply for this uh, non gate exam you can uh, directly uh, get admission in the private institutes even i don't say that some of the private institutes are bad okay some of the private institutes are very good their infrastructure the facilities are also very good where you can pursue your masters very well uh, conduct to go through your projects okay resources are available as as was in the case, as was in my case i had uh, done my masters in a private institute uh, it was atmia institute and the resources and infrastructure was very good and uh, i never found any problem regarding my studies and my project there uh but only drawback of this private institutes is that uh, the fees structure is very high okay uh so that is the main thing about the non gate exam you can get uh, through non gate you can get into this private institutes for your masters and mtech uh now i come back to gate okay for gate uh, how to prepare for gate and when to prepare for gate that is uh, okay uh for gate uh, if i tell you that uh, you can give your gate examination in your final year Uh, or even after completing your graduation okay? so according to me you should prepare start preparing for gate uh, when you complete your second year okay so from third year you should be starting pre- start preparing for your gate examinations uh, collect the syllabus collect the topics and start preparing and ultimately after one year for, for dedicated 
and smart work i would say not hard work smart work and dedicated work you can definitely clear gate okay uh, but again mara friends gate ape che etle mare gate api che that should not be the thing okay you should not be uh, ship following anyone uh, listen to your heart listen to your uh, inner soul okay ask the question to yourself am i able will i be able to do the smart work or uh, the work that is required to qualify for gate okay again next important thing that i will be coming up will be that uh, okay uh, qualification for gate examination okay just for the sake of qualifying uh, and writing up in your resume that okay i have qualified for gate i don't think that will serve your purpose uh, if you are preparing for gate aim for the highest premier institute Okay, that is IIS, Bangalore, IITs. Okay, the old IITs that are there, the new IITs have been set up with the NITs that are available. So aim for that institutes. Okay, just for the sake of clearing the gate examination and uh, just uh, getting the benefits of the stipend. As you all know, if you clear gate and you opt for any master's program, you will be getting stipend. And uh, if you just qualify for gate with the passing marks and you get admission in any uh, any government engineering college, you will be getting stipend. The fees will be less. so uh i would just say that just for the sake of qualifying this examination you don't go for gate okay if you are uh, dedicated for gate you want to prepare for gate and always aim for the highest okay? if you aim for the low you will get low results if you aim for the highest you go for the high you will get the better result okay ek ek hindi mein ek kahawat hai okay jitna bada sochoge utna acche results milenge Okay. If your aim is high, you will get very good results. So, uh, if you are opting for gate, prepare for gate right from the third year. Uh, I will give you an example of my classmate. Uh, I, uh, I remember his name is Nandish Trivedi. Right now, he is working with uh, GSECL at uh, Bhuj uh, as a junior engineer. Okay. Uh, he started preparing for gate at the end of second year. Okay, as soon as we completed our fourth semester, he started preparing for gate. And uh, when we were in the final year. uh we gave uh, he gave the gate examination he cleared it with very good marks around 52 marks and i don't remember the exact mark but it was around 50 51 52 marks and uh, during that time uh, around 2014 uh, they were considered as very good marks but even uh, he was opting to go for thermal engineering in any iits or nits but with that sort of marks with that sort of score also he was not able to uh, get admission in those iits and nits in the thermal engineering Okay. so uh, consider the level of competition even in the 2014 year and right now we are in 2020 so the level of competition must have increased okay to a very high level so the level of work that is to be required also needs to be increased so if you are opting for gate and if you are trying to get admission in any mtech courses through gate the preparation should be started in the third year okay so so some of the students will say okay sir now we are in uh, fourth year may some of the students also come to me guess are okay now we are in fourth year now what to do how we can prepare for gate how we can clear gate okay so if uh, the situation is such that okay uh, you are able to go for classes of gate after your graduation if you dedicate one year for your gate preparation uh, there is a very common uh, very uh, well known institute that is ace at hyderabad where students go for your gate preparation okay uh, so if you Dedicate your six to eight months, one year full one year course is for the uh, uh, gate preparation. That that will be very uh, very helpful. And uh, if you go there, definitely your uh, gate qualification is uh, okay. So if you prepare for one particular year, okay, dedicated work, dedicated hard work. So that will be. Uh, enough for your gate preparation so through gate i as i told you iits nits premier institutes are available courses thermal cad cam manufacturing metrology energy engineering production design all these courses are available even these courses are also available in the private uh, private institutes if you are not going for gate and if you are going for non gate through non gate if you want to go for mem tech you can definitely go into some very good private institutes are also available uh, now uh, next important thing now here i want to share a one particular story okay before going towards the next option uh, my experience okay uh, what question you need to ask to yourself before choosing any particular thing if you want to choose for say for example i chose to go for my further study i have chose to go for mem tech so what uh, you need to think what you need to ask yourself okay 
so when i was in diploma uh, i didn't get admission in be so the first and the foremost thing that was in my mind that okay after doing diploma there is no other option but to go into the degree i want to take admission into degree okay into be so after diploma my aim was to go for degree after diploma i got uh, through the campus at that particular moment uh, campus uh, where very good companies were attending the campuses for recruiting i got uh, my uh, job in sr i got my job sr still surat hazira i got my job in lnt surat hazira uh, as a junior engineer in heavy engineering department uh, i also got my job at gnfc bharuj okay uh, again as a uh, assistant engineer so uh, but my aim was there that okay i don't want to go for job i still want to go for my study okay i want to keep learning i want to go for further study so i didn't took those jobs and i go for i went for my uh, b okay in gec bhavnagar so at that particular moment also some of the uh, societies some of the people were uh, saying that okay you are rejecting such good jobs such good offers and you are going for b okay that's not a good thing and but i listened to my heart i went through that process okay and uh, right now i am okay with my career uh there after in b also after b uh, as i uh, i tell you about my family background my father is a diploma mechanical engineer uh, my younger brother is also a masters in mechanical in production so uh, i have a family background who are all mechanical engineers okay so after b also i thought that okay now is the time that okay now i have to decide whether i want to go for further study and whether if i want to go for uh, my job in industry so i thought and i thought that okay Uh, what is my interest okay what things interest me uh, so in that particular moment also when i was uh, doing my bachelors uh, my mother used to do give home tuitions okay? so there i used to teach the students and the students feedback was said the parents feedback was at that particular moment was said that okay sir tumara je chokro che ane nu bhanavanu saru che he is doing very good okay? so i thought that okay uh, my mother was a teacher so that teaching traits were there in me okay so uh, i thought that okay teaching inspires me okay uh, teaching is a field that uh, i can be successful uh, it's my goal uh, i would not say goal at that particular moment because at that particular moment goal was not there okay even you won't be having any such goals okay yeah. but i would not say as a goal but uh, okay it was my passion i would say teaching was my passion i identified that thing in my last year that okay teaching is my passion so i uh, opted for i uh, opted for my options okay what i want to do with my teaching if i want to go for teaching job what are the options that i need to do what i should do for the teaching job i ask my seniors i ask my professors okay and uh, they told me that for teaching job you need to go for your masters program masters is compulsory and i opt for masters okay and that that is the thing i selected my masters okay and for again for cad cam i would say why i selected cad cam Yeah. Uh, when I was doing my diploma, uh, there we were having. Yes, you are all mechanical engineers. You must be knowing that we are having manufacturing as our subject. So uh, we were having manufacturing engineering one, manufacturing engineering two, and manufacturing engineering three. And that is machine tool technology. That was MTT. Uh, uh, I had got admission. I remember that I had got admission diploma in uh, uh, second batch. Okay, means uh, the evening session batch. Yeah. yeah. So. our timing of the college was from 2 pm to 8 pm and the last lecture of 7 pm to 8 pm would be of manufacturing engineering by our hod sir mr m k shukla so i already i remember that thing that we were only a bunch of students remaining at 7 pm okay and we bunch of students used to attend those lectures okay i attended those last lecture from 7 pm to 8 pm because i was interested in that subject that subject interested me right from the beginning even when i was in b uh, b in gec bhavnagar Uh, we were having manufacturing process one, two, and we were having. In the seventh semester, I came across a particular subject, CAM, Computer and Manufacturing. This subject interested me more because it is a next step from manufacturing processes. It is a technological advancement from our conventional processes. So this subject interested me interested me more. Okay, and so at the final year, I decided that okay, if I want to go for my teaching passion, I want to teach in the engineering colleges. then i want to go for my masters and for my masters the subject that i am interested in is cam and this cam will be coming in cad cam so i opted for the cad cam branch so these are the things that you need to ask yourself okay what are the interest what is my passion okay what i want to go for 
Okay. This is the thing that you need to first ask to yourself, the final year students, uh, especially you need to ask to yourself, what is my passion and what particular field and what particular subjects I'm interested in. Okay. Don't go for those particular uh, branches that you are not interested in and that will not be beneficial for you. So that was a short story. Uh, now for the next option, if I go uh, apart from further study, as I told, basically there are two uh, options available for the study and the job now for job uh, again there are two options available uh, if you want to do a job in government sector and if you want to do your job in private sector now in government sector uh, again there are two options available further two options available uh, in government sector if you want to job, take a job again uh, option is gate uh, PSUs that are the IOCL, BPCL, ISRO, okay, uh, NTPC. These all PSUs are offering jobs to the uh, students, mechanical students, uh, through their GATE scores. Uh, they consider the GATE score. You have to apply to, to those PSUs. Okay? Uh, thereafter, you have to give their entrance exam. They will be conducting an interview, and then after they will be selecting you for that particular uh, job. Okay? So first option is PSUs where you need to have a very good score, extremely good score in your gate exams and a very good performance even in interview and entrance exams of that particular PSUs. Uh, second option in government is the non-PSU sector. Uh, for government jobs, uh, uh, for the non-PSU sectors, there are uh, you need to have a dedicated preparation. The, I'm talking about the class 2 and the class 3 uh, uh, preparation, class 1, 2, 3 preparations that you need to do for your government exams. Uh, for mechanical students especially, I would like to say that uh, 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 more on uh, the uh, RTO, okay, the technical uh, jobs that are available, that is RTO. Uh, then you are having GNFC, uh, Narmada Valley, uh, assistant engineer. Uh, you are having uh, many other technical fields in the non-PSU sectors for the government exams. And... Uh, uh, yes, we have one question over here uh, from Sumed. Yes, hi Sumed. Uh, sir, student engineering students focus on entrepreneurship in technical, non-technical fields. Okay. Uh, for technical, non-technical fields, entrepreneurship, yes, you can focus on entrepreneurship in technical and non-technical fields. Uh, uh, there are a number of entrepreneurship programs that are run by the government. You can uh, contact them. Uh, they are providing funds for the entrepreneurship. But uh, for entrepreneurship, I would say you should have a very good idea. Uh, an idea, I would say that you should be solving certain uh, societal problems, the problems that are currently prevailing in the society. You, if you try to solve those problems uh, through your projects and if you find a suitable solution and a feasible solution, I would say, not suitable, feasible solution, then obviously entrepreneurship is the best option. Okay, so I hope I have answered your question. So moving towards the non-PSU sector, I was talking about the government job. Uh, the government jobs uh, uh, for the non-PSU sectors, with, for that you need to have a dedicated preparation. Okay, The syllabuses are available in the uh, government uh, websites where you can uh, search for them and you can prepare for them. Uh, RTO class 2, class 3, you have UPSC class 1. Okay, So these are all uh, non-PSU government exams that you can prepare for. But again, the level of competition is very high and the number of uh, seats available are very less for these jobs, I would I'm saying for the non-PSU government jobs. So the preparation should be extremely, extremely, uh, I would say extremely hard okay the preparation is hard okay you need to be very dedicated towards your preparation now uh, shifting from the government job i would like to uh, concentrate on the private job okay? so if on the private job again i would like to tell you a short story a very short story okay we are having we are short of time okay but uh, i will tell you a very short story quickly uh, there was a student okay he was in the final year and uh, he had just given his uh, exams Okay, he had just given his exams and uh, he had uh, given his interview either in uh, off campus or on campus in any pri private company industry. And uh, he had received the call from the industry, he had got the job. He was sitting on a cab, he was sitting in a cab and he received that call. And uh, uh, the person on the call said that, okay, you are getting this job. And the salary was very minimum around 8,000 to 10,000 to 12,000 per month. Okay, uh, as soon as the call was finished, the cab driver. Um, Ask the student that okay, so you are getting the job. Congratulations. So, what is the salary that you are getting? The student said, okay, my salary is ten thousand per month. 
and the cab driver started laughing so obviously uh, he the student asked said, why are you laughing and the cab driver said okay I, right now i am earning 35000 per month 30 to 35000 per per month just by driving this cab and you have done your engineering and uh, after doing engineering you are opting for 10000 per month job okay so yeah uh, my question and my story the but the aim of my telling you this story is consider this situation for you okay? uh, some some people will tell you okay, that okay दस हजार नौकरी करवा शू मतलब है टैक्सी ड्राइव करने की थर्टी फाइव थाउजंड कमाई सक एंजीनियरिंग कर शू फायद बट कंसिडर दिस सीच्युएशन आफ्टर फाइव इयर्स कंसिडर द सेम स्टूडेंट आफ्टर फाइव इयर्स इन द सेम इंडस्ट्री इफ इज वर्किंग वेल यू मस्ट हेव डेफिनेटली गॉट अराउंड फाइव इंक्रीमेंट्स इफ यू कंसिडर एन एवरेज इंक्रीमेंट ऑफ टू थाउजंड रुपीज देन इज सैलरी मस्ट हेव रीच टू एटीन टू ट्वेंटी थाउजंड सैलरी ऑफ दैट कैब ड्राइवर मस्ट हेव बी स्टेग्नेट थर्टी थर्टी फाइव थाउजंड Consider this situation after ten years. Thus, for such a situation, imagine. Karo again, his salary would have increased. He must, if he had worked, he must have worked very good. He must be good at his skills. His salary would have been doubled. Okay, his salary would have reached to forty, forty-five thousand. He would be a manager at an industry, at any particular industry, based on his experience. And the salary of that cab driver after ten years would be again stagnant. So that is the thing. Uh, for private job, I am telling you this story before the going into the private job part. Okay. The thing is, if you are having very slow start, I am talking in terms of money because everything which we are doing, what we are studying, again that is concentrated only for money. Okay, we are doing everything for money, for salary. Okay, for position, and this position will come with salary. So, uh, if you are getting a slow start, okay, if you are getting a slow start in your salary, don't mind the slow start. Okay, just uh, go for that thing. Eight thousand, ten thousand. Okay, I do experience that mechanical engineers, mechanical freshers are getting only around eight to ten thousand rupees per month salary in any part, any industry. If you go for any industry, so uh, don't hesitate to take those jobs. Okay, students right now are uh, having a such a mindset. Okay, I have done engineering. I I need to get job of twenty thousand, twenty five thousand. No, no. Uh, don't uh, have such kind of a mindset. Uh, opt for any kind of salary. i would say that if any company is offering you 6 months internship free of cost you should opt you should talk you should take those opportunities you should take those training okay because you are grabbing those opportunities to learn something in the industrial environment so mu tam kais ke if you are having if you are not pro, if they are not providing you any salary jo tumne koi salary nahi aapta to bhi a training program tumhe karo tumhe job chalu kar diyo your experience will improve and with your experience your salary will also rise so don't get hesitated with your slow start ultimately after 5 years 10 years if your skills are good if you have worked good your growth will be there so in private sectors again uh, number of companies are available number of uh, opportunities are available for mechanical engineering that's why it's called as an evergreen branch okay aeronautical automobile manufacturing sector design sector is a very broad broad sector i would say robotics heavy engineering okay metrology maintenance marketing marketing is also a field of uh, this uh, uh, mechanical engineering even mechanical engineers can do marketing okay uh, but uh, the most and the foremost important thing to get a, a job in a private industry is that you need to develop your problem solving ability okay? uh, most majority of the students are rejected in this uh, private industries or private jobs is that they don't develop their uh, uh, this problem solving ability and this problem solving ability can be uh, improved if you have your fundamentals very clear okay your particular subject or the subject that you are studying mechanical engineering the fundamentals of those subjects should be very clear in order to develop this problem solving ability and if you develop this problem solving ability then no one is to stop you in this private sector okay a number of companies are there as i told you sr lnt Okay, Tata Power and Tata Steel and everybody. Okay, there are number of uh, uh, things are available. Number of companies are available which offer good packages. Okay, to the students. Okay, even though the packages are slow or packages are low, you can opt for those companies because the experience gained in those companies will be very helpful to you in your future. So that is the thing about the job sector, government and private. Another uh, facet of this. Uh, what to do after be mechanical engineering career options uh, is that uh, you can work as if you are interested in research field you can work under some government sponsored projects as a junior research fellow jrf number of institutes are there 
where some of the academicians, uh, highly reputed academicians, are uh, working on certain government approved projects, government funded projects uh, under DST and so, under Department of Science and Technology. Uh, they are working under those projects. The government of uh, India and government of Gujarat are funding those projects. And you can work under them as GRF and you will gain a lot of experience. As GRF, also, they are offering you certain stipends. Okay. Uh, so you can also work there. Okay. As a JRF, if you are interested in research fields, uh, okay, here I have a question. You have good understanding skill. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Mayur. Uh, I will go back uh, to my uh, sec second, uh, second important, third important facet uh, apart from further study, uh, job, and uh, this. I have told you right now, JRF. Now, another important facet of this career option after B is. Uh, job oriented courses that are available one or two year job oriented courses are available uh, which you can opt for after your BE uh, and uh, the placement of this job oriented courses that are there is almost 90 to 100 percentage I always suggested to my students after they completed the BE that okay you can go for this career uh, this uh, job oriented courses very short courses of one year duration two year duration and they definitely guarantee you that you can get the job in that particular field. Uh, if I give you an example of those courses are that uh, piping design. Piping design is a very good course, uh, uh, which is a career oriented course, I could say, not job oriented, career oriented course. And if you do this job, your career will be diverted into this particular direction. So if you are interested in that particular fields, because piping design, uh, as of I know, in the I mean the teaching field, JTU has not included that in your uh, syllabus. So if you are interested in that particular piping design, you can go for that job. Uh, you can go for that course. Complete that one two year course. A uh, number of institutes are providing. Uh, you can search them on your uh, web portal, and uh, uh, you can go for that. Uh, another course I would say is robotics, solar energy. Uh, welding courses are available non destructive testing courses are available okay uh, non destructive testing level 1 2 3 there are many levels available you can do that uh, courses and definitely you can go for that uh, jobs okay uh, you will definitely go uh, get jobs in that after doing those particular job oriented career oriented uh, courses okay so i think i have tried to cover up uh, uh, almost all the types of, all the facets of this career options that you can go for uh, after your graduation in mechanical engineering, uh, almost we are about to, uh, we have entered into the question answer session. Okay, So if any one of you is having any questions, you can definitely ask me if you have any things to say, if you want to share anything, uh, the comment section is open. You can connect to me and uh, you can ask me any question if you want. Okay. Anyone is having any questions? Uh, another important course oriented, I would continue. Uh, you have any questions, you please uh, comment me in the comment section. You uh, share your question. Uh, if I want to continue in the career oriented, uh, I'm focusing on this courses, okay, short courses. Uh, CNC program is another course. I'm interested in CAM. So if those students who are interested in CAM, uh, computer and manufacturing, manufacturing courses, I would suggest them to go for uh, CAM option, uh, sorry, CNC programming option. A uh, number of courses are available where they teach you CNC programming. And uh, definitely you can, um, can do that course and you can be a very good CNC programmer okay, to run the CNC machine. And they, as a CNC programmer, they offer you very good packages, conventional manufacturing processes. And, uh, and they are opting for this CNC technology that is the latest technology. How to get a marketing job? You said just said now. Okay, for marketing job, first of all, uh, good question. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, you should be interested in marketing. Okay, uh, marketing uh, is a very tedious job, and you, you should be firstly ready for that job. And for marketing job, uh, if you want to be a very good marketer, uh, you can uh, go for an MBA course for marketing in marketing and after completion of that you can get a marketing job in uh, also you can get a marketing job in any industry or a mechanical oriented industry also because obviously mechanical industries are also producing products they need to market those products 
and if you are a very good marketer you can give a number of options to them and you can get a particular marketing job even if you are not done your mba after b if you want to go for a marketing job also there are a number of options available you apply in industry the number of uh, openings come for the marketing job you can opt for those industries and uh, you can apply there and if you are really dedicated to marketing job you will definitely get that job i hope i have answered your question where can students find the courses on ndt pipe designing courses suraj shukla okay uh, suraj yes uh, very good question ndt and pipe designing courses are available in almost all the uh, metro cities of gujarat uh, when i was in vadodara a number of institutes were providing ndt courses level 1 2 3 and uh, they were giving practical approaches they were taking you to the industry for the live projects and where you have to perform your non destructive testing and it is non destructive testing of course a number of non destructive testing uh, programs or courses are available subjects are there there is a dye penetrant and uh, radiography and they uh, offer you technical courses there they offer you live projects where you can uh, work on those projects and uh, get your courses done uh, for pipe designing uh, you can uh, uh, go for uh, pune hyderabad bangalore where pipe designing specific pipe designing courses are running uh, you can search it on internet a uh, number of institutes are providing this specific uh, one year duration short duration courses pipe designing courses and uh, you can opt there next uh, question sumit desai uh, sir i am final year and we are facing a job crisis for freshers given the pandemic situation so what is the best thing to do according to this time uh yes uh, for this purpose uh, uh, if you are in final year you must be completing your uh, uh, b so uh, meanwhile uh, during this pandemic uh, no companies will be offering jobs you can continue your learning process a number of e learning courses are available okay short duration courses are available uh, where you can continue your learning process and uh, certain e learning programs are uh, very much beneficial and helpful uh, to get jobs so during this pandemic period during this 3 uh, uh, months 4 months 6 months whatever the duration may be during this pandemic you can go for your e learning courses that are available online a number of courses are available you can select a particular course of your particular interest subject interest and you can uh, definitely uh, learn those courses complete those courses they are, those are certificate courses they will be issuing you certificate and uh, definitely this certificate will definitely get you a job in that particular field but opt for very good e learning courses uh, tata steel and all are uh, providing such courses so opt for those courses anyone else for having question so i was saying about uh, academic field okay another option is for academic field as i am in academic field so for academic field if i say that uh, please continue if you have any questions okay i'm just uh, continuing the session if you have any question you can just comment in the live section uh, so for academic field as i was saying that for academic field uh, you need to have masters compulsory and most important thing as i told you uh, you should be uh, passionate about teaching okay because uh, just for the sake of getting a job if you get into this academic field and okay mujhe maine industry mein job nahi milti hai hum koi kon college mein professor bani jao that's not the thing because you are ruining the future of other students so if you are really interested in a teaching job uh, you can do go for your masters in your particular field and then definitely you can apply to any government colleges also they are giving assistant professor and uh, lecturer exams are there they are conducting exams then uh, for private colleges they are conducting interviews demo lectures and you can apply uh asit shukla nice session akash all the best regards asit batch of the manager tata steel okay uh, thank you very much sir how do find area of interest again i told you my uh, story mayur uh, from the beginning uh, from the beginning i would say when i was doing my diploma okay, uh, i was interested in manufacturing side uh, right now also what subjects i am teaching they are also concentrated to manufacturing i do teach those subjects uh give uh first priority to those subjects that are related to manufacturing side because that is my area of interest so uh from the beginning whenever you are studying in be your diploma from the beginning there are certain uh, areas of your interest definitely but those areas if you want to find you just uh sit in a corner of your room okay uh, alone okay just try to concentrate 
and uh, try to ask the question which subjects interest me the most which lectures interest me the most which subjects lectures i attend very attentively those subjects are your areas of interest those uh, uh, areas of interest will grow you, uh, you from inside okay will uh, uh, make you more dedicated towards your work whatever you are doing okay? and then you can uh, definitely go for that so for finding the area of interest it is only up to you nobody can tell you that okay mayur you are interested in design so go for design no you, that's that answer will come from within yourself you have to ask yourself and you have to find your area of interest most important factor that you can consider is that you can uh, question yourself that which lectures i attend most attentively those subjects will be your areas of interest okay i hope i answered your question anyone else <sighs> another uh, career oriented course that i forgot to mention is cswip that is a certified welding inspector course okay uh, that is a uh, as per anst that is american uh, society for non destructive testing they are also providing these courses so uh, uh, sumit to answer you again i would say that uh, you can go for those uh, AN, uh, asnt courses welding courses during this pandemic we are providing online sessions for this uh, e learning courses are available uh, so if you are interested in this manufacturing side uh, again you can go for those courses and those those courses are very much job oriented and career oriented which type of skills needs when we are facing on or off placements okay uh, very good question uh, the skills that are needed is uh, first is your attitude as i told you uh, second uh, companies or uh, institutes that placement on or off whatever if you are going for off campus also uh, first thing is they are looking always for your fundamentals okay uh, they will not ask you what is the form for they will ask you this basic fundamental uh, questions they will ask you fundamental questions uh, regarding your subjects uh, and they will not go for a very heavy bombarding of the questions and uh, basic questions fundamentals so first and foremost the skill that you need to develop is you need to clear your fundamentals of your subject uh, in resume if you have provided that my area of interest is manufacturing if i have provided in my resume that my area of interest is manufacturing my fundamentals of manufacturing should be absolutely clear they will be going to the base of the subject second most important thing when you are facing an interview see your cpi spi will get you to the interview door but what happens inside the door will get you your job so spi and cpi getting those marks is also very important and cracking the interview is also very important because seven eight spi cpi will get you to the door of the interview but what happens after you enter the door will be depending on your skills okay so second important skill that you need to do is uh, you need to work on is your communication skills for uh, when i'm talking about communication skills i'm not talking about english language no there are some companies that they don't uh concentrate only on english language okay there are certain companies that they require that english speaking individual should be there in our campus or in our uh company and uh, they require certain uh, they have certain requirements for english speaking but when i am talking about communication skills uh, your communication skill means your speaking ability should be very clear what you are trying to convey that should be clear because there are certain students or candidates that are they are very brilliant they are they have their fundamentals very clear but they are not able to express those things so your expression skills your communication skills should be extremely good okay uh, if language barrier language is not a barrier if uh, if i am talking in gujarati hu gujarati mein baat karu chu to bhi hu je kehva mangu chu clear thavu jo e same wala manas sudhi to e samjhi sakse ke that okay you are well versed with your subject but if you are not uh, good with your communication yeah, then if you are very good at your particular subject technical subject then also uh, the person interviewer will not be able to be will be convinced convinced with your answers and the reverse side is that uh, some of the students are not very good with their technical side but their communication skills are so uh, high uh, there were certain students when i was tpo uh, their technical technically or the marks wise they are very poor but when they faced interview they almost cleared all the interviews okay there were certain students so their communication skill is such that they try to convince they convince the interviewer and they get the job 
so these two things i think they are the most important thing for your placements uh, how to get internships uh, for internships you need to contact uh, uh, particular industries uh, they offer internships uh, paid internships are also there free internships are also there uh, well uh, some of the internships they provide you stipend some internships don't provide you stipend but if the industry is of your particular interest area again if that is their area of interest you should definitely go for that uh, industry whether it is if they pay you if they don't pay you definitely go for that internship for internship you need to contact the particular industry uh, you need to contact industry and especially again a very important good question uh, when you are applying to a mechanical industry uh, don't mail okay obviously you mail you apply through mail but uh, if possible go individually personally try to provide your resume your application hand to hand that will make a very good impact for hard branches especially for hard branches so if you want to get want to go for internship first identify those industries which are your interest okay which are of your interest subject then go personally uh, first apply through online through mail then go personally hand to hand apply uh, give your resume and application tell them that okay i want to get into internship you should provide internship so that is the only way you can get into internship certain companies also uh, give advertisements in the daily uh, daily newspaper so through that also you can apply very uh, in the various industries so i hope i have covered all the topics uh, anyone else having away for closing the session anyone having any questions further please comment me comment uh, provide your question in your comment session i will try to solve it uh, i hope i have cleared my uh, questions okay um, i will try to cover all the topics uh, with the best of my knowledge and experience and uh, i have cover try to cover all the major things that you need to concentrate on uh, for the career options in b after b mechanical and as i told you first thing is uh, first thing and the foremost thing is get into uh, your interest area uh, yes another question does final year project matter into yes very much definitely in interview they will ask technical question or not ask technical question they will definitely ask about the projects so selection of the project and doing your project is also very important okay so final year projects matter the most in the interview and they will decide uh, your fate in that particular industry uh, because if you have done your project and you are not able to answer the questions of the project or if you are not uh, able to explain convincingly to the interviewer about your own project then they will think that okay this person is not dedicated to if even if, if he is not dedicated to his own project final year project how will he be dedicated to the uh industry for which he is going to work so final year projects matter the most okay that's the third thing okay uh, i had one question which type of skills the third thing uh, third skill that you need to develop is you to concentrate on your projects more okay so i hope i have uh, try to convince all the answers i try to give all the answers if you further have any queries tumhe koi aaj bhi koi questions hoy Uh, related to what i need to do and how can i find the interest subject and what i need to do after my be uh, you can contact me on my uh, facebook handle uh, instagram handle it is akash the name that is shown on your screen it is not double a you can contact me on facebook instagram as my youtube for my students uh, there also you can contact me okay that is diploma mechanical e learning so you can contact me there also and uh, my number is also available you can ping me anytime i am okay one question i am 6 sam i get internship in power plant i don't like working industrial environment so if any area for mechanical to for job not in industrial area okay so if you are not interested in industry uh, then there are number of options available for you uh, as uh, academics if you are interested in teaching then you can go for academics uh, there are also certain as i told you career uh, oriented courses that is uh, asnt non destructive testing courses where you need not need to go continuously to the industrial area or the environment of the industry uh, for certain projects or for certain duration of time only you need to go so there are also that courses marketing side is also available where you can go uh, uh, where you need uh, no need to go for uh, the industrial area and you need to uh, move in the market you need to roam in the market and uh, do the marketing job so a number of options are available Uh, where you can go uh, design is there 
certain companies such as LND. LND is having the designs uh, part in the Baroda side, okay, at Baroda uh, LND. So there, if you are interested in design, that such companies uh, gave us specific uh, area for design, which is very much far away or not uh, connected to any industrial area. So if you are interested in those areas, you can go for that. That are not co concentrated to industrial areas. Okay, I hope I have tried to cover all the answers. So as I told you, uh, contact me anytime, ping me on my WhatsApp. The number is already available. And, uh, and lastly, I would like to thank Himadri and his team and her team, sorry. Uh, Himadri and her team for this exceptional work and uh, this connection. Okay. Uh, okay, another question, how to learn design skill in now academic? Okay, design skill for design skill. Uh, there are a number of uh, softwares available. Again, design means what you are studying is not a design. The calculations, they are not the design. We have softwares are available. And the latest trend in the market for mechanical engineering design purpose, I would say that is NX, uh, Unigraphics, uh, in that CAD and CAM both are available. Uh, then you are having Katia as a software, you have Inventor, uh, you have uh, Solid Mesh. Okay? Uh, these are uh, very good design softwares that you can, uh, again, that those are career oriented courses that you can go for design courses. They are one, one year courses and you can learn design skills in academics also. Okay, we are all already uh, doing those courses, learning new softwares each and every time uh, the market opens for those softwares. Uh, next, next, we request to do with another session. Uh, definitely, I will try to come with another session. Okay, I um, thank you very much. I loved the way you told me that you come for another session. I will definitely try to come for another session and uh, with some another common topic, another common question that the students have. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, try to uh, connect me, ping me on any uh, for any queries. Okay, and uh, again, thank you very much for the GEC alumni uh, team for arranging the such a wonderful session, trying uh, allowing me to connect with my juniors of GEC and reminding me with those beautiful memories of GEC. So I hope I am closing this session now. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for all those who have attended the session. Thank you very much.